NBA 2K17 is finally here. Yes, I'm super excited to be making videos for you guys on this game. Hopefully, if you did end up purchasing the game, you are enjoying it. This year, I have a ton of things planned, a ton of awesome video ideas that I'm going to do for you guys. But I definitely want to inform you guys on the best collections to complete in NBA 2K17 My Team. I want every single one of you guys to have the upper edge when it comes to my team this year. And I know it's really tough not knowing what to do because there's a ton of options, but I'm going to try to help you in this video with what collections you should try to complete in NBA 2K17 my team. Make sure to smash that like button for more content but let's get into this. So I'm really excited because this year in my team we are going back to how it was in 2K15 where we're actually getting player rewards for completing collections. Now I just want to go over the best collections for you guys to complete. Now obviously all of the collections will be good to complete but some of them are a lot more worth it when it comes to the players that you receive for completing the collection. So like a team such as the 76ers as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, that's an okay collection it won't be that hard to complete because they don't have any really amazing cards but Steve Mix I don't know if that really excites anyone I don't really know if any of you guys really want an 84 overall Steve Mix now obviously if you're just missing one or two cards from this collection yeah go ahead and complete it just for the Steve Mix but there's a lot of other collections that are way more worth it than this collection to complete the Bulls for example I don't know if this is the best collection to complete Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade are both emerald cards which means they're gonna be somewhat rare obviously not nearly as as rare as the good cards were last year but they're not going to be like common pulls but I'm pretty sure the rest of the players on this team are going to be rather easy to pull so if you want an 86 overall BJ Armstrong that could be a decent point guard to start your team off with now a team such as the Celtics might be a good collection to complete if you do like Dennis Johnson none of these cards or emerald cards they're all gold and below so it might be an easy card to complete I know Isaiah Thomas Al Horford Jay Crowder Avery Bradley are all gold cards but still man this might not be that difficult of a collection to complete so I wouldn't be against completing this one next you have the Clippers um honestly I would stay away from trying to complete this collection to start off the game just because both Chris Paul and Blake Griffin are emerald cards which aren't going to be easy to pull and I think DeAndre Jordan is one as well and also JJ Redick he's always pretty rare in the 2k games that, as well as Jamal Crawford since they're really good cards I mean Bill Walton is a cool reward so if you really want Bill Walton I guess you could do it but this isn't going to be an easy collection to complete next you actually have the Griffin Grizzlies, and I feel like this is a really good collection for you guys to complete. They don't have any emerald or above cards. Everything is a golden below. So Marcus Saul, Mike Conley, Chandler Parsons, Zevo, Tony Allen, I believe are all gold cards, which aren't going to be that hard to find. And Shane Battier at an 86 overall. He's going to be a great defender and he's going to be able to shoot the three. That might be a really good card to pick up in the early stages of your my team. So I definitely would suggest trying to complete the Grizzlies collection. The Hawks may be another good one to complete. I don't think any of these cards are emerald. I believe they are all gold and below and Sharif Abdul Rahim is pretty cool in 2k So yeah, that might be a good collection to complete as well now for the heat Eddie Jones is a cool reward He's always been cool in 2k But Chris Bosh and Hassan Whiteside are both emerald cards which aren't gonna be the easiest to get So I would stay away from trying to do this one at early stages Honestly, I feel like this Knicks collection is gonna be really hard to get as well because Mello is usually pretty expensive And he is an emerald card and Kristaps Porzingis is never easy to get just because so many people love him as well as Derek Rose this is going to be a pretty hard collection to get so I would kind of stay away from this one especially with Len Chapel being the reward honestly the Lakers collection would be an easy one to complete but for Darrell Imhoff Imhoff whatever his name is like it's not worth it magic collection yo this would be the first one I would try to complete just because the reward is an 86 overall Grant Hill none of these cards are emeralds they're all gold and below man not a hard collection to complete and for an 86 overall Grant Hill that's going to be a dope card to use in the early stages of my team and I would definitely try to complete the magic collection if you're looking for a good point guard early on in the cycle this one might be a good one to complete and this is the Nets one because the collection reward is an 86 overall Darren Williams obviously the Nets are pretty trash in real life so it won't be that hard of a collection to complete they do have a lot of players though but yeah Darren Williams pretty cool reward so you could definitely go out and complete this one I would try to stay away from the Nuggets one for sure because the dude is only an 83 overall Reggie Williams and he doesn't even have a picture like if he doesn't have a picture you don't want him now normally I would say try to stay away from the collections that do have emerald cards in them but this one is for Peja Stojakovic and that is the Pelicans Anthony Davis he might be a pretty rare card this year just because everyone loves to use him you could use him at the four or the five but for the reward it may be worth it man Peja Stojakovic has always been one of the cheesiest players in 2k just because he's such a good three-point shooter so if you can get this guy on your my team early you may be able to dominate with Seattle 
think it's a bad idea to try to complete this collection and pick up Apasia early in the cycle. I would definitely stay away from the Spurs collection, Kawhi Leonard and LaMarcus Aldridge. These are going to be kind of rare cards and the reward is just an 84 overall Avery Johnson. So yeah, I would stay away from the Spurs one. Okay, and this is really, really weird to me. But for whatever reason, all of the rewards are Sapphire cards with the exception of the Thunder who have an 88 overall Ricky Pierce. Like that doesn't make sense to me at all. But the Thunder collection isn't going to be that easy to complete. Russell Westbrook is going to be a pretty rare card. But I mean, I guess if you want an 88 overall, this is going to be the best collection to complete to get the best player. But I don't really know if Ricky Pierce is going to be good in 2K. I don't think I've ever used him in previous 2K. So I don't know if he's going to be that good animation wise. But I mean, I guess if you want the best card that you can get from these collections, this would be the one to complete. I would definitely stay away from the Warriors one. Now, while that Sarunas is a pretty cool reward, you have to get Curry, Clay, Durant, and Draymond. All of those are going to be expensive. So yeah, I would definitely stay away from the Warriors. But yeah, I went over all of the current day collections I would suggest you get and I would suggest you stay away from. All of the rest of them are kind of meh. Like none of them really jumped out at me to be good or bad. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Now I'm just going to quickly go through the historical ones that you should keep your eye on now obviously the game just came out it's probably impossible to complete a historic day collection right now but these are just some collections to keep your eye on for later in the cycle for the 76ers you have diamond Julius Irving that's gonna be a cool card to use for sure for the Bulls diamond 94 overall artist Gilmore is gonna be cool as well for the Grizzlies you have a diamond Zach Randolph that's gonna be a fun card for sure and the players you put in there don't look that great for the Hornets diamond Larry Johnson that's gonna be a dope card and the cards that are in there really aren't that great so yeah this might be an easy one to complete for the jazz you have a 95 overall adrian dantley that's going to be a cool card for sure this is one of them that i'm the most excited for and that is a 95 overall diamond mitch richmond they got vladdy divak this isn't going to be that hard to complete none of these players on here are really that great so yeah this might be one that you should really go out of your way to try to complete because Mitch Richmond has always been a beast in 2K. For the Knicks, you have Diamond 95 overall Walt Frazier. The 95 overall Diamond James Worthy is going to be a really cool card to get. I'm sure he's going to be an incredible dunker and this might not be that hard to get. So yeah, I would look forward to going for the Lakers collection. Obviously, with Shaq being the ward for the Magic, I would definitely try to do this one and the cards don't really look that great on this team. So yeah, this might not be that difficult. For this Pelican slash Hornets one man this one looks absolutely dope 95 overall Chris Paul is the reward and the players you put in really don't look that great so this might be an easy one to complete later in the cycle for the Raptors you have a nice diamond Chris Bosh for the Rockets you have a nice diamond Clyde Drexler man this Spurs one looks like it's gonna be really easy to complete none of these cards really look like they're gonna be that expensive and the reward is a 93 overall diamond Manu who's gonna be a really cool card to play with see so yeah, I went through all the historic cards that really jumped out at me the Wizards is Earl Monroe that's a cool card as well but, but hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button man i really do appreciate that a ton hopefully this helps you out when you're starting your nba 2k17 my team thank you all for watching hopefully you did enjoy if you did leave a like on the video and i will see you in the next video peace